Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So we're just gonna see what comes up. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries for the month of September? At any time in September, please. Oh, that's not good. We got four. We're going to look at all four because when something falls out, I take that as a message. Not a lot of people ignore it, but I don't. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you're going to be needing to do that this month. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. It is safe for you to love. That's a good one, isn't it? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you are going to be pulled towards somebody that appears to be a soulmate. I feel like you're going to be having conversations with this person. You're going to need to be open. Don't be afraid. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe to open your heart to this person, Aries. So, this is beautiful. I think we should stop now, don't you? I'm going to put that one in the front. It is safe. It is safe for you to love. What do we have for... <laughs> what do we have for September for Aries? Things are happening fast. Grasshopper, situation in the balance that require careful handling. So situations in the balance that require careful handling. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Horse, short journey. You're going to be going on a journey of some sort. This is a journey. You're going to be going through a new doorway. There's a new opportunity that is opening up for you, which is appears to be very beautiful, but you're going to have to get past your fear to go down that path. Um, this is probably going to require a little bit of... Uh, I think, you know, this doesn't say courage, but I think this whatever this is that is be given to you is a lot bigger than you are. And that's why it's so you're so fearful of it. You're fearful of getting crushed, right? So I feel like you uh, are going to need to to be courageous this month. So what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries for? September. Judgment. Now, judgment. Judgment is a card of absolution. Okay? This is a life-changing decision. It's the end of things. Queen of Swords. I don't know if you're dealing with a wicked individual. You could be dealing with somebody that is very hard to love, hard to deal with, uh, assertive, harsh, brash, cold, uh, maybe even manipulative. What I, you know, the queen of swords in reversed is an individual, it's a person that you're dealing with that is hard to love. And it, this person is hard to love because they're so brash. Okay, they probably they may lie a lot too. You may be dealing with somebody that doesn't uh, communicate well. Anyway, this is an ending. Okay, this is truths being revealed, being held accountable, responsibility being assigned, um, a wake up call of some sort. This is like. 
forgiveness as well, being forgiven. Rising, it's rising, accepting and allowing. This is, you know, what I'm seeing when I look at this card, I really like hear the horns. It's like, an, this is an event. It's like the horn blows and, you know, interesting. So there's some sort of event that is going to happen this month that ends something for you. Because the judgment card, you see the double tens, usually you do. It's, um, it's an ending of some sort. It's the end of the trial. Okay. Decision time. The decision is going to be rendered. Put it that way. Um, hmm. Queen of Swords reverse. That is somebody that is very brash. Doesn't care. Doesn't really care. Four of Wands reverse. Now this is not happy. This party is over. This is a messy situation. It's cleanup time. Time to clean up this mess. Ten of Swords. This is a, an ending of some sort. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of suffering. So you have something significant happening this month. Now, this is definitely painful. You have somebody here that has been suffering or is suffering. This is in a lot of pain. This hurts. Okay, this really, really hurts. Um, there's a lot of pain. It could be some back pain. Some of you could be experiencing back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. So much to the point where, <coughs> you know, it's excruciating pain. It looks like there's excruciating pain here. You know, you got to be careful. This is a judgment call. You could be dealing with a professional that's not really, really very professional. Maybe it's it could even be a doctor or a chiropractor or a back doctor or something like that. It doesn't have to be. But this person may, they just don't have the skills. Okay, they may not be as skilled as you think they are. Just so beware of that. The Four of Wands reversed is... Uh, not happy, not comfortable. Interesting. Knight of Swords reversed, hanged man, and the Four of Coins. So the Four of Coins is about stability, holding on. Somebody's been holding on, holding on to their stability holding on to their money, being probably very greedy, being very selfish. You may be judged for that. Somebody, you or somebody that you're dealing with, these readings can go vice versa. Somebody is, may be judged for their materialism, you know, for not giving, for always, you know, expecting, you know. This is somebody who's selfish, that is very focused on, this is mine. It's mine. You owe me. That kind of thing. And this is being judged. Now the hay man is, a neat, is struggling. Struggling to let go. Learning some kind of a lesson. Thinking about what has happened. You know, you may... This is like a period of limbo. Or a period of stagnation right here. Where you need to think about... Uh, how you will be judged. Maybe there's something to do with reputation here. Because this is thinking about uh, the decisions that you make. You're going to need to think about uh, what you want to open up to. Because this is very stubborn. This is a miser energy. This is. This is somebody that is very focused on their stability, on their money, on their bank account. This is a wake-up call, a judgment call, a life-changing decision. You know, you could be dealing, this is somebody that is very selfish. You could be dealing with somebody that is very selfish, that is hung up on holding on to something of yours as well. 
Now, the Knight, Knight of Swords in reverse is an untrustworthy individual. You may be dealing with an untrustworthy individual that is... Uh, I may have some tricks up their sleeve or something like that. That Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that is definitely untrustworthy. This person is insincere. They're always looking for a fight. You could be dealing with somebody who picks a fight with you. The Knight of Swords is somebody who does something usually without thinking. This is an explosive energy. It's dangerous. This is a know-it-all. A five of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be dealing with a battle of some sort. A power struggle with somebody this month. It appears that it's an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could be a Pisces. We have Pisces right here. So, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Pisces. I think that you want... There's somebody that wants to win at all costs. They are very, very, very selfish. And they don't care who they hurt. Got somebody here that is absolutely uh, looking out for themselves. All they care about is themselves. This person only cares about themselves. Now the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords are both cards of betrayal. So there's some sort of betrayal here. And this is, this is uh, truth coming out. You may see something that shocks you because this is a shock. You may see something that shocks you about a person that you have been dealing with about the betrayal. You may see some sort of betrayal that they've done. And it feels like uh, it's going to hurt you when you figure it's really going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's really going to hurt when you see when you see. Now this five of swords is, is walking away, non-negotiable. You have a bully a couple times here. You're dealing with a bully. Somebody that is only looking out for number one that has no moral conscience. What's going to happen with this person? Ace of coins. They're just after money. They're after they're after money. That's all they care about. Whoever this person is, they just want the money. That's all they want is the gold. You know, they want they want the stability. They want the security. They're not. Where's the love? Can anybody tell me? Anybody? Is there any love in these cards? The love of money. The, the the ego there's there's the, there's the love of of money and there's a the ego okay that's what we got here we got ego and money and hurt and betrayal and truth coming out about an individual that you I don't know if you've been wasting your time or this person is very sneaky there's definitely some sort of sneaky behavior here now this ace of coins is a you know Reality check. Magician. Now this is manifestation and this is manifestation. So somebody has manifested something. This is, uh, this is the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. This is taking action to bring success, to bring stability. Somebody is going to be taking action to bring stability. Maybe it's you. This is being willing to shed the old to bring in the new as above, so below. This is finding the resources to be successful. Having the resources to be successful. We do have a new opportunity, a new doorway that is opening up for you. But you're going to have to find your ability to go through that doorway. This is an archway as well. It really is. So we have a new doorway that is opening up. But it is probably going to hurt you to walk through it. Because the magician has to shed the old to bring in the new. This is somebody that is a doer. 
I think that you are going to become aware that you must go down a new path. You have a gold. These are both golden opportunities here. You are going to be given a golden opportunity this month. To end a painful situation where there's been a lot of hostility and lies and betrayal. With somebody that you were struggling with for a while. This person, whoever you're dealing with, whether it's you or them. Remember, this can go vice versa. We have at least, maybe it's both people. We have somebody here that is very greedy and selfish. And they are about to be judged because that is a judgment call. That is judged. They are about to be put on trial or questioned or something like that. Okay. And this could be punishment. The hangman is definitely a card of punishment. So I'm not sure if there's going to be some punishment assigned. And this is an assignment as well. Assignment of punishment. Judgment is. Think about it. You are at court and you reach the end of the trial. Somebody's getting punished. So, you know. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands reversed. Now this is uh, moving too fast, out of control. This is a uh, sudden departure, bad reputation. We have somebody here has a bad reputation that don't want responsibility, that is constantly on the move, that is overly competitive, that has a really big ego. They, they, uh, This person, this Knight of Wands reversed, holding on, wasting time, not very wise, in a hurry, not thinking. We got somebody here that doesn't think before they act. But this person is going to be thinking about their reckless behavior, trust me. They are going to be, somebody may be punished. And maybe it's, I don't know who it's by, by but, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's self-punishment. I don't know. There, this is like reckless behavior. And this is a need to go within and think about what the hell happened. I think you got a real uh, selfish individual in your circle that has probably led you astray. And maybe it looked really good or something like that. You may, you know, what the hell? Mm, seven, yeah, beware of false beginnings, illusion, fantasy, seven of cups. It did look really good, didn't it? Oh my God, you're going to have to make a choice. There's consequences for your choices. There is. There's consequences here. Somebody's going to be receiving some consequences for their reckless behavior. For their poor decisions, for their lack of, of accountability. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody has hurt another person very, very badly. Because this is bad. Anyway, Seven of Cups is... Beware. It's beware. What you own, owns you. And it's a lot of materialism here. We have a very material... I don't know if it's you or one person watching this reading. We have somebody here that is very materialistic. Look at all those beautiful things. Now there's some sort of consequences. So anyway, that judgment was the first card out. That is karma. That's being held accountable. Responsibility being assigned. There is some sort of judgment that is going to be made this month. And responsibility is going to be assigned. Okay? It's going to be, this is going to be the end of the trial. It's the end of the court case. It's the end of the case. The case is up. Okay? It's, it's coming to an end. Decision is about to be made. It's 
person. There's probably going to be some hard feelings here. Nine of Wands reversed. Somebody may end up angry. They may be angry about the decision that is made. But there is a new opportunity coming in with this Ace of Coins and the Magician. This is a golden opportunity for success. A golden opportunity to start over. My dog is snoring. I'm sorry. So we have the end of suffering. We have a new beginning. You asked for it. You asked. This is the magician. You asked to go down this path. You asked for this to end. Somebody is giving up on the fight as well. You asked for this. Your prayers have been answered. This is all coming to an end. This whole trial is coming to an end, however that resonates with you. Another option is about to be presented, and I think it would be in your best interest to take the new option. You have a new opportunity here, waiting for you to grab it. Let everybody else clean up that mess. Stop wasting your time. Stop sacrificing yourself for, for, I don't know, some person that doesn't, that isn't very nice, that bitches all the time, that is selfish and greedy, that has led you down the wrong path. You have somebody here. Or you have a new opportunity here. I don't know if it's a person, okay? You have a new opportunity here, a new doorway opening up that could lead to something long-term. This is what you asked for. This is a gift. This is a blessing. You have the power. This is both power. You are going to be given the power by the end of the month. You're going to be given the power to end this suffering of whatever it is. And I also feel as though you have an opportunity to unite with somebody that you are in alignment with. So I feel like this month you are going to be ending something very significant in your life. That first card out, that judgment card. Beware of some sort of consequences that may be coming your way. I just got to be honest with you. There's some sort of consequences here for poor decision making. For acting recklessly or acting at for materialistic reasons. That's, that's a karma situation there. When you're greedy or you're selfish because it's all about the, the, the beauty of something, you know. Somebody else may need something, but you want the money. You know, that's, that's a lesson you need to learn. And this is about a lesson being learned. It's about giving. With no expectations. Of getting repaid back. Anyhow, I do feel as though uh, you have a new opportunity that you asked for that is coming to you. It does have to do with a soulmate because you got this card right here. Somebody that you are going to be very, very, very attracted to. You're going to you're going to need to open up to this person and really find the courage to go down that path. But you can only go down that path if you let go of the past. You have to let go of the past. 
This is release. The judgment is a card of release and forgiveness. So this is about releasing, not, not holding on. Release, let go. You have somebody here that you are going to connect with. I think it's sudden too. I do. I think it's very, very sudden. And I think it's sudden because you have been reluctant because of this other person that has been holding you back. Open up. Open up your heart. Follow your heart. Go down this path. Let go of the fear. I see you're extremely distrustful. Just go down the path. It's safe. This is what you asked for. So yeah, you got somebody here. You do. It's somebody that you are you're going to you're going to be pulled. It's like you're pulled towards this person. The energy is so magnetic. It's like zzz, that kind of thing. It's like you can't. If you're pulled, don't resist it. I think it's going to be a painful release though. Because this is painful and this is release. Or maybe it was a painful release. That's what you've been experiencing. Suffering. There's been a lot of suffering with that Ten of Swords. But now it's time. It's time to let it go. And go down that new path. So yeah. You got a new opportunity coming in. Take it. Good luck.